Hey everybody, it's Plush Boy here, back with another uh, Jurassic Park review. This is a Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary. Um, it's just called Dilophosaurus. Um, I bought this off of Entertainment Earth. I have no idea if this is hitting stores, and I have no idea if this is going to be available in anywhere. So, I got this off Entertainment Earth. I didn't think I would be able to get this. I felt like they'd cancel my order. But we're going to review this little plushie. And it is really cool. I kind of play with it a little bit. So I'm going to call it the Squeeze and Roar. Since it kind of says that up here at the top. Um, let's turn the box around. It says Dilophosaurus. In a bunch of other languages. The frill moves. Just wait until you see this. This is neat. Oh, the box looks pretty, pretty gnarly. I like this, these, these silhouettes of the dinosaurs in there. Why is there a Rampharynchus right there? That That's a Rampharynchus. There's an Ornithochirus. There's a Geosternbergia up here, too. There's a bunch of other pterosaurs, like a Dimorphodon. There, there's, it looks really neat. It looks like it's almost from the prologue scene. Oh, so you got your Rex. Um, on. there's something in my teeth. Oh, and if you want the barcode, uh, I suppose I could give that out since, I mean, I don't know if this is going in the stores. Alright, oh, shit. Alright, I had to go get a knife from the kitchen to open this up. Unfortunately, I have to say it or else YouTube will get me in trouble. Children or anyone, anyone under the age of 18, don't worry, I'm, a, I'm, I'm old enough. Be careful with knives and or have a parent help you. I shouldn't have to fucking say that again and again. So we're going to carefully cut the box so I can maybe put it back together. Tape in here. Yep. I wonder if anyone else is, has was able to get this yet. If, if if you have this plush, to tell me in the comments, because this is cool. I can't wait to get this all the way out. I like the logo that they put on it. I'm just I'm only opening it like this for OCD, and plus the box is actually really cool. So. So I'm guessing it all it'll open out like like this maybe I don't know. <sighs> oh man, there's something in here that I gotta get out. All right, it's one of the most satisfying feelings in the world, and I can never say it. I'm trying to think. I don't. I'll tell you, one of the most satisfying feelings is opening up a dinosaur or a, or a figure of any kind and being able to open it without damaging a single part of the box. Oh, I just came close to cutting myself there. I'll be fine. Let me get this other foot off. Ah. Oh. Um, we got some paper tie thingies here. And I gotta be careful. Alright, I'm good. I didn't cut anything. Alright, let's get what wherever this is at. Okay, there's more of these, these tie thingies. And there's... One more on the back of the tail that's holding the, the tail on. I, they really don't want people stealing this shit. So, th this was kind of teased, but we didn't really get a whole lot of info on this. Like, I see it on Entertainment Earth, and that's... Oh, it, even it does make noise. So, I'm just going to show you the action feature right now. So, on the back here, there's a button. Let me turn the flash on. It looks pretty cool. Tell me what you think. I'll show you from the other side. And from the front too. 
it just has the one noise, but again, this is a really, I mean, it doesn't really stand that well, apparently, unless, um, do, it, the tail doesn't have bendable wire in it, neither do the legs or the arms. Oh, uh, the head can't really move. Since I don't review plushies very much, I've done them before, it's just... Um, somebody needs some milk. Alright, I'm back. I don't understand why this says Jurassic World on it. The tags just say frickin' Jurassic Park. It's got the Mattel logo there. Little tag there. This is neat because, I, I mean, the bottom of it is black, which is supposedly to help, help it stand up. But there's no pad in there. It's just all soft. They actually put colors on the claws. They didn't sculpt the dew claw, but that's such a minor detail that I'm not even going to worry about. Um, the frill, I'm having a hard time keeping up like that. And the teeth are kind of crooked. Oh, let's open his mouth open. He's got a tiny little tongue. They got the tongue. It's better than most Mattel figures. It's not too big, and it's... It's stuck to the bottom. Um, the eyes are a goldish color, and it's got the black and then the, the little bit of white in it. Uh, most of the head doesn't have color. I know it's got a beige underneath.